All praise due to Allah, who made his servant travel by night from the sacred mosque to Al-Aqsa Mosque. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The Almighty Allah supports his messengers with miracles. One of these is the Prophet's miracle of Al-Isra wa Al-Mi'raj. That's the miraculous night journey and ascension to heavens. Allah says in the Quran, Glory to him who made his servant travel by night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque, that's Al-Aqsa Mosque, whose surroundings we have blessed to show him some of our signs. He alone is the all-hearing, the all-seeing. When contemplating this miracle, one finds many lessons and insights. Among these lessons is the absolute power of Allah, the Almighty. The will of Allah does not depend on the norms and causes. As Allah says, when he wills something to be, his way to say be, and it is. These, these lessons also include that with hardship comes ease. After the Prophet had suffered different forms of torture from the polytheists of Mecca for conveying the message of his Lord, Allah granted him the miracle of Al-Isra wal Mi'raj as a form of support and honor and to be the ease that follows hardship. Allah said, so, so truly where there is hardship, there is also ease. Another lesson to learn is the great status of being a servant of Allah. Allah said about Prophet Muhammad and revealed to Allah's servant what he revealed. This servitude to Allah is a form of honor and glory. This servitude is the thing that Allah wants from his creatures and it is the core of all Prophet's messages. Another lesson to learn is the status of Al-Aqsa Mosque. It was the place to which the Prophet, peace be upon him, travel, traveled on that journey, and then to the heavens. It is the first Qibla, or direction of prayer, for Muslims, and the third mosque next to the, the two holy mosques. We ask the Almighty Allah to support those defending it, and to return it back to the Muslims. Another lesson to learn is the great status, virtues, and special significance of prayer. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, ascended to the place called Sidrat al-Muntaha in the sixth heaven, he was given three things, which are the five daily prayers, the last verse of Surah al-Baqarah, and the virtue that any one of the Prophet's followers who died worshipping Allah alone without any partners will have his sins, for, his sins forgiven. Another lesson to learn is that there are common bonds among religions. The Prophet peace be upon him said, the Prophets are paternal brothers. Their mothers are different, but their religion is one. Allah gathered all Prophets, peace be upon them all, on that night, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, led them in prayer, and they welcomed and praised the Prophet, peace be upon him. Another lesson here is making use of the available means. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, reached Jerusalem, he tethered al buraq as he said, so I tethered it to the ring used by Prophets. Another lesson is to ascertain the truthfulness of one's belief. When the people of Mecca told Abu Bakr, your friend, your friend claimed that he had a night journey to Jerusalem and returned back before morning. He asked them, did he truly say that? They replied, yes. He replied, I do believe him. I believe him in what's greater, which is the divine message. This is why he was called Al-Siddiq, or the testifier to the truth. With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you. All praise due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, his household, companions, and followers. Muslim brothers, in addition to this blessed journey, 
Surat al-Isra spoke about the kindness to one's parents. As the Almighty Allah said, and we have commanded people to be kind to their parents. A special focus in Islam is given to kindness to one's mother due to her endeavor in pregnancy, pressed feeding and upbringing. The Almighty Allah said, we have commanded people to be good to their parents. Their mothers carried them with strain upon strain. Once a person came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and asked him, Who among people is most deserving of my fine treatment? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Your mother. The man again asked, Who's next? Your mother. The Prophet said. He asked again, Who's next? The Prophet then replied again your mother he again asked then who thereupon the prophet peace be upon him said then your father in the islamic sharia kindness to one's mother is a key is a key to get the pleasure of allah a man came to the messenger of allah asking him to go out for jihad the prophet peace be upon him asked him is your mother still alive he said yes the prophet peace be upon him said Go back and take care of her. When the man insisted, the Prophet replied, Woe to you, go back and serve her, for the paradise is there. Gratitude to one's mother include being kind, honoring and pleasing her. Even after her death, one can make supplication on her behalf, asking Allah to forgive her, or give charity on her behalf. One should be kind to his parents relatives as well the prophet peace be upon him said the finest act of goodness on the part of a son is to treat his father's friends in a kindly way at the end we stress the necessity of obeying of obeying people of authority and the national authorities in each field legally no one is allowed to speak on behalf of the state or its institution in their areas of specialization. The Ministry of Awqaf of Egypt warns against following ill-intentioned voices and calls upon everyone to receive directions and guidelines on public affairs only from the authorized platforms and official websites of the state. O oh Allah, help us adhere to your religion. Save our fathers, mothers, and our country Egypt and all world's countries.